And on another note, I've met some friends who have proclaimed to be celibate and they don't seem to have a spiritual faith why they've chosen to do that. Yep. Could they be these people that are getting their rocks off at night while they're asleep so they don't need any action during the day? Or? It's possible, but it's also the opposite is possible where they get overcloaked by men who have been monks in their life or whatever else and they're trying to force celibacy upon them. So, so it's not their actual personal choice, but rather it's a spirit overcloaking them in their, in their awake state, a spirit overcloaking them and causing them to be celibate. In a, and in fact, some spirits even go to the extent of detuning. They, they, because of the openness of different areas of our body energetically, they can detune the sexual organs and their responses. So you can actually make a person, if you're a spirit, and you have a desire to, and the injury, the person on the earth has an injury in that regard, you can actually make the person almost be completely detuned from any sexual desire at all. Great, thanks. Yeah. Most of us have no idea how much spirit influence we're under. I keep saying this to you. You still don't understand yet, but you will get there. <laughs> and where was next? It was Jason and then it was Rochelle, wasn't it? Yeah. Hi AJ, 